Hello everyone, I'm here to show you a quick how-to on how you can change your Google Classroom banner with your own custom creation. So when I gave that training to live this week on Google Classroom Basics, this was something that I know a lot of you all were interested in finding out how to do. Now, those of you that got my email with the resources, you will have the direct link from that PDF to get your template to start creating your banner. For everyone else, if you're interested in getting this template, all you'll have to do is type in tech librarian dot tech backslash gc banner that's the short link that will take you to the template now once you're here it might give you this error message um, because it's saying that it's having problems displaying it all you have to do is click up here to use a template and this will create a copy for you so you'll see this and it'll come up the dimensions of your canvas and here these little checkered is kind of get, lets you know that this is a transparent background but what i want you to notice is i give you if you scroll to the left i give you instructions here on how you can do it also step by step i'll also be including the video here so that you can link directly to it so you can know what you can do to customize this banner now Rest assured that when you download it, none of the stuff that is in the gray space is going to come out in your design. So teachers, this is another helpful tip that you can always use this gray space to put in instructions, to put in audio, to put in video, whatever you want so that your students can have that resource right there in that document on what they need to do. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is if you click on the element, which is this canvas, you can right click and it's going to bring up this menu. Now, just so that I don't take too long in showing you how to do it, we're just gonna go with um, some of the colors here and then I'll show you how you can drag in an image as well. So I'm just gonna go with this purple and you see how now I don't have that transparent background. I have just my canvas that is in the color that I want. So for those of you that do not have the Bitmoji Chrome extension, I know that some of you saw that I added a Bitmoji to my classroom banner. All you'll have to do is go to the Chrome web store, which I'll also link in the description of this video. And you can go to the Bitmoji to add in your Bitmoji, the Bitmoji Chrome extension to add in your Bitmoji. So I'm going to go ahead and just click in this working from home. And as simple as that, you just drag it in. You see that green little plus. I let go. And now I have my image here. Now, something that you need to take into consideration, remember that I brought up in the video that there are some spaces that Google Classroom has in this area, in this area. So it's up to you where you want to do or place your Bitmoji. So know that you have also grid line guides that will give you what's the middle of the page and the center of the page. So I'm just going to center it here. Now, one of the ideas that was given was to put your contact information in your Google Classroom banner so that parents can get a hold of you or students can get a hold of you. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert word art here. And I'm going to type in contact information. Now, once I do that, it's going to bring this up really big. Now, one other tip that I'm going to share with you is that you'll want to grab from the edges. Don't grab from the middle because it's going to kind of distort your uh, text or even your images. Now, another helpful hint is hold on to your shift because you want to make sure that kind of keeps the, 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 um, how you, the format of how you want this. So I lowered it, I mean, I brought it down in size a little bit. Again, I want to hit the shift because I'd want to keep my uh, text intact with the spacing that, that's there. And I'm going to continue to hold that shift until I like the size that, will fit here in the banner. 
So I don't like this font or this color easy either. So I'm going to change my font here and I'm going to go. I really like this Bebas new for any type of title and text. Um, so I use it like this. And then of course I will go to my paint can to change my color. And I like for it to be black and make sure that it the line that is outlining it is black as well. And here I can enlarge it again by holding on to shift and kind of putting it where I want. To make it pop a little bit more, I'm going to go to the format options. I'm going to do a little drop shadow here. And you can see that this is a little blur radius. I'm going to kind of go down on the blur radius and it gives it that little pop there for that contact information. So then all I have to do is put in a text box here with my information. And again, I'm going to use Oswald. It's another font that I like to use so that people can see it. I'm going to put my email. I'll also put my phone number. And right now I'll just kind of put this so you can put your own because I don't want it's going to be on YouTube. I don't want everybody calling me here. And then what other option you can put is office hours so that your parents and your students know that when when your time that they can contact you. And since I am at the high school, these are our hours for class. And again, you can go in and add little um, icons to make this a little bit more um, visual for them, visually appealing for them and, and do that. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna add this. I have the contact information once I have or I'm happy with what I've created, you are going to come over here to the file, download as, and we want to save it as a PNG. So when I come here to PNG, you'll notice at the bottom, I have got my PNG right here. So once I do this, I'm going to go to my classroom and I'm going to show you how you can upload this. I have my little Google Sandbox. For those of you um, that have a Google Classroom, I highly recommend you have like a little sandbox or a holding classroom where you can kind of play around or even if you wanna create your assignments there kind of in the draft form so that way you can easily repost into your regular classrooms. But as I mentioned before, here is where you would change your theme. You have your banner here. So I'm going to upload a photo. Now notice what it says here. I can upload it if it's already in your, um, in your pictures here. But since mine is right here on the bottom left-hand corner, all I'm gonna do is drag it here. Once I drag it here, I can just kind of click on these arrows and it'll take it to the full screen or full size that I wanna change it to I select this classroom theme and there it is now guys the one thing that I did mention with you guys is that it will Google has it to where this title stands out so they'll always darken up this background there's no way of us changing that but students can still see the information there now again if you don't like the way things came out you can always go back and change it and re-download it to fit your needs here so that's a quick tutorial on how to do that. Now, some of you might want to add in a background or a different uh, picture to be out in the background. That's, uh, I'll show you how to do that as well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and come back here and double click or right click to my get my background and I'm gonna put transparent again. And that'll give this again the 
that checkered transparent background. So if you want to go ahead and um, have a picture background, because there's a lot of uh, really nice backgrounds out there, I have this one that has kind of like a pink glittery little background. So I'm going to go ahead and add it here. Oops, 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 oops. oops. Let me just go to my images and drag this in. And then this one I may want to. And one thing to note, it will distort it like the way you see it here. And if it doesn't really matter, it's uh, for you, it's okay. But again, control Z, I don't, I want to keep the original image, but one thing to note, and I'm going to suggest is that here on the format options, if you're working with an image is to go to adjustments and work with the transparency. So you know what to crop out. So as you can see, it's changed the transparency of my image. And so what I like to do is I want to keep this glittering in the background. So I'm going to put that at the edge. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to bring it to the size of my pen. Oh wait, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to get this edge and I'm going to go ahead and go to the size of my banner and extend it. And as you can see now, I have a lot of glitter there because it made it big. So you can choose to move this up a little, move it up a little, and drag it a little bit more if you need to. Here is where I start kind of cropping because I'm going down and I want to crop some of this so that I can work with my my page a little better. So I crop that and I can move it as I'm doing this as well. I don't want too much of this glitter in where I want the text. Keep on moving here. And if that's where I like it, again, I will come back here and crop a little bit all the way up until I get to where my banner is. I crop here. Now all I need to do is crop down up here. And now I've cropped it. And so I have this here. Now I can work with my transparency. Now I also right here, as you can see, it is blocking my information because it's on top of all of the stuff that I've added. So what you're want, gonna wanna do is you're gonna go here to arrange. Let's see. Arrange and I'm going to send this to the back order send to the back and now it's at the back of my image and my text information but you can see that i have an image that i brought in from wherever you'd like to any type of background and now i can go back to formatting options and adjust my transparency and bring out my transparency back to normal. And there it is. So hopefully you found this tutorial, this how-to um, useful. If you need more information, I have included all of my contact information in the description so that you can get a hold of me. And again, re please feel free to reach out to me if you need any help in designing your custom banner. Thanks guys.